I first started playing the organ when I was 12. I am always embarrassed when people ask me what I do. I never say outright, I'm an organist, because when, they say, when you say to someone you're an organist, they get this image of little old lady, or a miser, or somebody who's locked up in a choir loft. I'm always blown away by how much I need to explain what an organist is. So whenever somebody asks me what I do, the first thing response is, I'm a musician. Oh yeah, what kind of musician? Well, I'm a keyboardist, a keyboard musician. Oh, like in a rock band? Well, no, I'm, I'm an organist. Oh, so do you play the Hammond B3? Uh, no, I play the pipe organ in a church. Oh, and so that's usually how that goes. <laughs> it's extremely competitive. All your organist friends will quickly take your job if they hear that you're leaving or something like that. It's a cutthroat. Uh, world just like any professional artist world is. As soon as the LA Symphony loses a violinist, hundreds of violinists are going to be auditioning. It's just the way it is. St. Philip's is a very nice position as an organist to have. The demographic of the organist is, is unfortunately also kind of dying. Uh, not very many young people are getting into it. The organ isn't something that is in band. The organ isn't something that's in orchestra. It is specific to the religious environment. It's such a specific instrument that people don't think, you know, my kid's going to be an organist. I kind of see myself as not really being an organist when I look at some of my colleagues. That runs the gamut. There are many people that are extremely deep in their faith since the organist is primarily found in a religious setting. And then you have people who take it very lightly, kind of like I do, and uh, try to have as much fun in this position as possible. From time to time on a Sunday morning, especially in the Catholic Church, you have to every once in a while have 10, 15, 20 seconds of music to fill a gap in the action that's going on up on the altar. And every once in a while I'll have some melody pop into my head from some TV show or something that I watched the day before and I'll improvise on that theme and most of the people won't recognize what I was doing. They'll just think, oh, he was just filling in with music.